What's up everyone? Welcome to the Finding a Niche YouTube video. So this one's going to be really good. We're going to talk about exactly what you need to be able to find a Shopify niche or an e-commerce niche to win every single time. And this is not going to be the same old boring stuff where we're going to be looking at watch count. We're going to be pouring through all of the subcategories of AliExpress. Um, this is going to be a very different video. We're going to talk about some real life uh, situations, how to kind of use logic and how to apply a lot of the same ideas to the overall process of finding a niche to be able to replicate it in your own way, add your own creativity and things like that. And guys, if you haven't, make sure you join the Shopify Dropshipping Ninjas group. We have actually over 20,000 members now and people are super, super active here. It's such an amazing group. And if you guys do want access to the document that we're going to be using all throughout this video, um, all about everything niches, then make sure you do end up joining this group because it's really good. And you know, a lot of people are there to help you. So it comes down to a few very important things, guys. I like to call it the stupendous six. So what this means is you need to have a passionate audience. You are not going to create a Shopify store selling day-to-day -day items. You're not going to create a successful Shopify store, you know, selling toilet paper or uh, things that people need every single day, like toothbrushes. Maybe you will, you know, you could create a, a Shopify store selling toothbrushes that are incredibly catered, you know, to uh, 18 to 21 year old male Star Wars fans, and you make like a Chewbacca toothbrush custom or something like that, right? So that would have a passionate audience. But you know, overall, for the basics, the necessities, the everyday items, those are not the type of people that are passionate. It, and those are not the type of people who are going to click through on a Facebook ad or an Instagram ad, which is going to be our main source of traffic for our store. So you need a passionate audience. Um, you know, think like golf. It has a, an affluent, uh, you know, older genre of people who are very passionate in the sport. They spend a ton of money, a lot of discretionary income, right? So you want to have a passionate audience. Think. Think bird watching, right? Think uh, sports, think fitness, think things that people love to talk about with their own friends. That is what you want. That is what you want to emulate. That is the passionate audience that you are actually after. So number two out of the stupendous six is other people are actually making money in this niche. So how do you know other people are making money in this niche? You can kind of tell because you know there's a ton of different things, uh, a ton of different stores, a ton of different people kind of doing it. Think like makeup. Um, if you guys follow you know, Kylie Jenner, she's running you know, half a billion dollar makeup line. Obviously, there's money to be made in cosmetics. You know, you can kind of tell from trends on Instagram, uh, things like that, uh, fitness, health, you know, a lot of the different type of kind of staples or what I like to call evergreen niches, which we are going to talk about in a second. You can tell that people are always going to be perennially making money in those niches because they are just kind of the staples to human life. People need, you know, kind of all the same things, which we're going to talk about right now, uh, basic human designs. But before we do, we want to make sure at number three that you can actually target this niche on Facebook. It's incredibly important to be able to target, you know, people with a very uh, fine tooth comb, so to speak, or be able to target people on Facebook in a way that you're actually going to be serving ads to people who are actually wanting to buy what you have to sell and that you're not, you know, just kind of throwing your items out there. Because even if you have the best items and the best niches in the world, if you can't find the right people who want to buy your products, it does not matter how good they are. It does not matter how, how good your niche is. So we need to be able to target them. And this is a really important one that a lot of people uh, kind of don't think about until they create their store after they've already you know committed all this time and energy and uh, potentially money to actually establishing their store without actually checking first if they're able to target that niche and target their potential buyers and customers on Facebook, which is going to be one of our main sources of actually generating traffic and getting sales. Um, number four is called perceived value. So what this means to me, and I think this is a really important one, again, that's overlooked too often, is you want people to think that the item they are buying is expensive, but you want it to be cheap to buy. And so what I mean by that, uh, and a great example, obviously, is uh, jewelry. So if we go to, uh, you know, cat, or let's just do jewelry for mom. Um, so if we go on AliExpress and we go to jewelry for mom, um, you know, we can see a lot of different items here. And this is a cute little necklace that your mom, you know, she probably obviously wouldn't care how much it costs, but she would probably assume if to herself that this was, you know, a 20 to $30 item. Or again, here, this is a beautiful little amulet um, kind of with a mother's hand and a baby's hand touching each other. This costs $1.85 
per piece. Uh, and you know, with e-packet shipping available, and if you guys don't know what that means, you know, make, make sure you check out my other Shopify video. We go into a little bit more depth, but I want to keep this really niche specific. So this obviously looks like something and would really produce a response from, you know, any loving mother that would not make it seem like you paid a dollar 85 cents for it. Right. And so obviously your customers would be paying, you know, 1995 or free plus shipping or however you decided to market it, but you would only be paying a dollar 85. So it per has perceived value. It seems expensive, but but it actually is quite cheap to buy. And we can go down and down here. So what we're really looking for, guys, is perceived value. Um, number five of the stupendous six is difficult to find elsewhere. So if people can find what you're uh, going into, the niche that you're going into, you know, readily available at Safeway or Walmart or, you know, whatever your local grocery store is or a department store is, then they're probably most likely going to just go and buy it there. It's people are just as set in their ways. Um, E-commerce is obviously one of the biggest trends happening in the world right now, but there still are, you know, most of the globe is used to going to Walmart or whatever their uh, department store is to kind of pick up those last minute gifts or whatever the case may be. So we want to make sure that it's difficult to find elsewhere. Um, you know, best case scenario would be that it's not available on Amazon. Maybe it's a restricted category or, you know, there's not a ton of different options on available yet on Amazon and it's not, you know, readily available at Walmart or whatever, uh, whatever your local uh, kind of department store is. So difficult to find elsewhere and you would want it to be upward trending. And what we mean by that is, you know, just heading over to Google trends. This is just a random one I just typed in one second ago. So we can kind of see that it's actually on the upward trend. So starting, you know, maybe in October, it was at 82 out of 100 of, uh, over interest and we see it actually is trending upward uh, to kind of that 199 range which is you know right now which is December 19th so um, you want it to be trending upward definitely the people who caught you know, fidget spinners for example on the upward trend were the ones who made a ton of money and the people who got into the fidget spinners obviously after that trend had already started to kind of expire and the supply had just become so incredibly high that the demand couldn't have possibly kept up the people who capitalized on that upward trend early are the ones who made out like bandits and made a ton of money so those are the stupendous six i like to just keep them in mind every time i'm thinking about a niche i think if you really master these pretty much you're going to be good to go as far as you know finding a niche but i do want to talk a little bit more in depth about some of these things so it comes down to basic human desires guys every single person on earth you know for the most part unless you're weird uh has human desires everyone needs love everyone needs sensory pleasures everyone needs material wealth everyone needs self-confidence social success self-actualization these desires are every human has them for the most part every human needs them to feel happy to feel fulfilled and so what we're gonna do guys is we're gonna look at kind of in a very fundamental way how we can actually kind of not take advantage but how we can capitalize on you know people's need for these similarities and these patterns among humanity so Everyone needs love and friendship. So, you know, and, and when we work, I'm gonna try to break these down into just real world examples off the top of my head, um, just as we go. So love and friendship, how, do, how does that kind of become a real tangible product that you can actually sell? To me, I think, you know, gift, gifts for best friends. And I would look on Pinterest and I would type gifts for best friend. I would look on Instagram, I would look on Facebook, you know, I would look on Amazon and I would see, you know, what these items are, are actually being listed first. I would look on Google Images, I would look on Google Shopping and I would try to see some similarities between, you know, what's appearing out of, uh, you know, the, the top search results for that niche. And then I would see, you know, how I could add my own creativity and how how I could add, you know, my own gifts for best friends and how I could add my own uh, kind of take on that. And so there's a ton of different stuff here. You know, you're my person, coffee mugs, you know, gift cards, uh, notebooks. Uh, obviously, these would be great kind of with the perceived value off AliExpress. So we could, you know, go through a ton of different ways. And if you want tips on product research make sure you check out the video in the description i will show uh all right excuse me i will link to the the video i made that's about an hour long and it's by far you know the most comprehensive shopify product research video so we're not going to go super in depth on how to find the products in this video but we are just going to talk really quickly about how to kind of make these intangible basic human desires into kind of a tangible product um so social success so this means everybody likes to look beautiful everybody likes to be in shape so social success is one that you know comes to mind really quickly people are making hundreds of millions of dollars every single year with cosmetics with beauty lines you know with health and uh, fitness products whether it's you know exercise bands or there's the new types of lipstick that Kylie Jenner is doing or you know there's I, I saw on trend hunter the other day that there was a precision um, you know lipstick applicator that, which is kind of like a new trend and I'm not huge into makeup personally guys but um, you know it would be something that if you wanted to get into that niche you'd have to kind of 
go down the rabbit hole. The people who are successful with this, guys, are the ones who go a little bit further than the, than the previous person is willing to do. So somebody might give up, somebody might go you know, through one subcategory or might go down you know, just this, this link and that link to the next website or down the rabbit hole, but not go far enough. And the people who differentiate themselves are the people who are willing to go the extra mile and go just a little bit further, Google just a few more things, you know, go on Facebook just a bit longer or Instagram or Pinterest and find that product. All it takes, guys, is one niche or one product to totally change your Shopify life and to totally change your e-commerce life. It just works. And so material wealth, you know, material wealth doesn't necessarily translate as well um, with Shopify and physical products. But if you are, you know, in the uh, digital product area, how to make money, you know, how to make money on Shopify, how to make money on Amazon FBA, how to invest in real estate, you know, building email lists with these type of things. Um, and then, you know, you could probably transition it into like a novelty, uh, you know, t-shirt store or something like that for people who are interested in specific topics on email lists. But, you know, this one's probably more suited for, um, a digital product. So entertainment is an amazing one. People love to laugh. People love funny. People love novelty items. And there's people making, you know, tons and tons of money uh, uh, selling uh, just novelty items or funny, you know, t-shirts or things related to uh, whatever their niche there is, right? Chewbacca seatbelt cover, Santa stocking flask. Right, these are ridiculous. Um, this would be a great item to drop ship. This probably costs like five cents each, and they're selling it for fourteen ninety five. Um, and so there's a bunch of different uh, sites out here for novelty gift items. Menor Menorasaurus Rex. Uh, so yeah, so some of these are just really great. So if you want to look through these, shut up and take my money is a good one. Um, this is yeah, this is why I'm broke is also a good one. I think I mistyped that actually. Yeah, so this is why I'm broke is also a good one. So they have, you know, like mechanical suits of uh, armor for like 80 grand and they have all types of different stuff like modern glass cereal bowl. Um, you know, they have things like this, which are obviously gag items, but it has 2,288 saves guys. And you guys can see the social proof on these um, to see what people are interested in, what people think are funny. Um, ultra telephoto zoom lens <laughs> for 26 grand. You know, there's just a lot of funny stuff to look through here. So novelty and entertainment it is just a huge one that's never really going to go anywhere. Um, Self-actualization and personal fulfillment. So this kind of is a, a very profitable niche if you know how to kind of approach it correctly. And what I think about when I see this one is, you know, people who want to, um, you know, develop their spirituality or to, to find further fulfillment in life in, you know, some area of their life. And I think of, you know, yoga. I think of yoga accessories. I think of essential oils on this one. You know, I think of candles. Maybe I think of Buddhism uh, or, you know, decorations for a, a feng shui of a house. You know, there's all types of things that you just kind of have to get yourself into the niche product research mode um, to kind of understand how to actually capitalize on these universal things that every single person kind of needs to really feel um, that sense of fulfillment and happiness that all humans obviously want so, so heavily. Um, so we're talking mass media here, you know, celebrity stuff, the Kofi fee stuff when Donald Trump did that ridiculous tweet. Um, just staying up to date on what's happening in real life is a really good one. Obviously, diet and weight loss is absolutely huge. Um, you know, in America, obviously, we're dealing with uh, some obesity out there, and it's always kind of going to be a staple um, in the what I like to call the evergreen uh, mass market niches that are kind of going to you know, people are making hundreds of millions of dollars every single year and there's no shortage. All you have to figure out is how to carve out your sub niche. Obviously you wouldn't like, you know, just go make a Shopify site on weight loss pills, but maybe, you know, you'd make a Shopify site on, you know, how to diet as a teacher in the urban markets and you sell things related to that. And, you know, these are just examples off the top of my head, but you want to kind of take these ideas and then add your own creativity and do your own research. I could just show, you know, this is what you should do. You should look at drones. You should look at 3D printing. You should look at this, that, and that. But, you know, thousands of people are going to watch this video and then kind of the, the, the dilution of me just telling you exactly what to do um, kind of makes it useless for everyone. So what I want to do is show you how to do the research yourself. So everyone out there who's watching this video, you know, if it's thousands of people or if it gets popular and it's hundreds of thousands of people, that everyone's going to be able to do their own research and find their own, you know, niches and be profitable themselves. So that's why I don't like to show exact different things, even though we're going to in a few minutes, I'm going to show three of the ones I'm kind of excited about in 2018. 
But you know, the point of this video really is to teach you how to do your own product research from the start. So fitness, like we talked about, is absolutely huge. Um, Self-development, cooking is absolutely amazing. Um, on Amazon, you know, we sell in the kitchen uh, arena and we did some pretty, pretty awesome numbers in one of our accounts uh, this year, um, just in one of our accounts for, for kitchen. So kitchen is absolutely huge. There's always going to be little items that you'd never think about. One of my favorites, if you are a fan of the channel is obviously the garlic press. Um, it was very popular on Amazon FBA and then it got very saturated, but there's always the great part about kitchen and cooking is there's so many like little items in your kitchen, like a, you know, a pan holder. So you don't burn yourself on cast iron or, you know, like I said, garlic presses or, you know, lemon zesters. And you really just have to go down the rabbit hole and find your specific niche. Um, dating and relationships, uh, gift for husband, gift for wife, gift for girlfriend, gift for boyfriend. You know, I think of all of these different things. We have a very gift oriented um, account on Amazon as well. And we do do drop shipping, a ton of drop shipping volume um, for the, you know, romance niche and for kind of the uh, mother, father, grandma, grandpa uh, niche as well. So you know, just kind of taking advantage of, uh, not taking advantage, but, you know, capitalizing, like I said before, on people's relationships. People are always going to have relationships as the center of the important things in their lives. Um, so another great one is gaming. And so gaming is very, very interesting. It's only getting bigger, right, with esports, with Mark Cuban investing um, in esports for, uh, you know, League of Legends and StarCraft and all of these different games that even, you know, I watch <laughs> probably more often than I should because it's very interesting watching these people master these incredibly complicated gaming, uh, you know, niches. And so what what people are doing and what people have done and you know the gaming industry or excuse me the gaming niche for shopify is getting slightly more competitive but you know what is it, what is always going to be true is that if you do a little bit more research than the next person and you're a little bit more creative and you find your own niche in gaming whether it's you know maybe it's nintendo and you make you know, t-shirts with uh your own little renditions of you know popular characters like zelda or or whatever the case may be um then maybe you're going to be able to actually carve that out and we actually are going to talk about um how to add a print on demand what's called a print on demand section of any shopify niche um, a little bit later in this video, which is a great way. It's actually a, a way that I added, you know, about $10,000 additional revenue per month to my Shopify stores simply by adding, you know, a couple clever, funny, cute designs that relate to what I'm selling on Shopify. So for example, maybe I'm selling golf stuff, then I'm going to, you know, I'm going to have my graphic artist create me five or 10, uh, you know, t-shirt designs or hoodie designs or whatever the case may be related to golf. And I'm going to sell those on my store, you know, in a new, in a different category so that when people come to my store, maybe to buy something that I'm advertising, they see this cool shirt, they add it to their cart and it's just additional cart value and additional revenue that I wouldn't be otherwise getting. And so the last thing that I want to talk about, obviously we talked about making money up above. The last thing I want to talk about is be aware of current events, guys. So, you know, don't let yourself just be a, a, an inactive observer. Don't let yourself be a passive observer of what is happening in the real world. So right now, you know, there's obviously a huge upward trend related to drones. You know, drones are becoming very, uh, very much more accessible and uh, people are able to actually purchase them now that they're down more in the impulse buy range you know you can get uh, some specific drones for I think like 399 now yeah 399 for the DJI spark which is you know obviously incredible to, for an HD camera and a fully uh, basically ready to go drone um, and so I just wanted to say be aware of current events so what we're gonna discuss is three stores that I just happened across uh, uh, you know, that people are obviously very intelligently capitalizing on um, of three upward trending and up and coming kind of niches going into 2018. Because what you want to do, guys, is you want to be you want to be there at the ground level. You want to be there when we're actually going into 2018 and you want to capitalize on things that are obviously becoming more and more mainstream. Um, you know, unless you're hiding under a rock, you, you realize that Bitcoin is absolutely exploding right now. Um, electronic cars, Tesla is not going anywhere. You know, if anything, the other big manufacturers are desperately trying to catch up to them. So electric cars are not going anywhere. And no, we aren't going to be necessarily selling drones themselves or Bitcoins themselves or electric cars themselves. But all of these things, guys, all of these huge mass market, you know, niches need 
accessories. They need, you know, customization kits. They need skins. They need all types of things that, you know, the smart people out there are realizing and capitalizing on. All right, so let's talk about this first um, one that I wanted to kind of mention is the drone. So the drone, for those of you who, you know, haven't been watching anything at all and for the last few years, are, are little basically devices that allow you to film unbelievably beautiful uh, kind of aerial perspectives um, that were basically un, uh, unavailable to anyone except for, you know, big movie production companies until recently when the technology actually allowed uh, them to be available to the mainstream market. And so Dronefly is a pretty popular um, website, obviously an e-commerce site. And, um, you know, I was just looking through here and I saw a bunch of cool little things that would be potentially uh, uh, worth taking a look at. And so what we're going to do is we're not going to look at the actual drones themselves, um, but, you know, there's a ton of other stuff here, uh, like um, drone repair, drone components. Maybe we can look at deals and see what we see. Um, but there's flight controllers, there's batteries, there's remotes, there's, you know, there's data link accessories, there's antennae, there's all different types of things that... You know, if you can target people correctly and you have a reasonable looking site and, you know, people are just going to buy it from you. And a lot of these things, I'm sure, are incredibly cheap to actually um, ship. And these these items are not available elsewhere, which is the which is the beautiful part. Obviously, some of them are. But, you know, DJI does not have many actual physical locations. Um, these would be great things to actually take a look at. It just kind of meets the criteria uh, of, the, uh, you know, the stupendous six that we were talking about originally. So is it a passionate audience? Drones? Absolutely. Are other people making money? Drones? Absolutely. Can you target on Facebook? We're going to talk about this one in a second. Perceived value. So drones seem expensive. You know, it's a little machine that you can control that flies like that's the, the definition of perceived value to me um, difficulty to find elsewhere absolutely um, upward trending <clears throat> we can take a look on Google Trends but you know I just I already know that it is upward trending and it's a very interesting uh, niche that I'm personally passionate about as I use them myself and I spent a ton of money on drones so let's talk about the next one Bitcoin um, this is a website called all things decentral um, and so they are capitalizing on the Bitcoin craze uh, they're literally selling Bitcoin cards. You can actually buy them in Bitcoin or in cash. So they're doing a great job here. Great crypto, uh, crypto gifts. They have Bitcoin socks. They have Bitcoin mirror finish. They have Bitcoin, you know, keychains. They have Bitcoin playing cards, beginner box, um, all types of things that are just hilarious. Like, uh, you know, uh, encrypts Google Pixel. Oh, so this is like an encryption uh, product. Virtual reality system, popular swag, will work for Bitcoin, um, Bitcoin magic internet money with a wizard on it. And, you know, these are just great. Bitcoin, not bombs. They have all different types of merchandise. They have most popular items. Um, open dime Bitcoin stick. And, you know, not even just considering merchandise here, guys, there is going to be a larger mass need for hardware related to Bitcoin. So, you know, if we're looking here, here so, okay, here's, so here we go. So, you know, those of you out there who know about uh, Bitcoin, you know that, you know, uh, there's a lot of different hardware wallets that are becoming more and more kind of popular and uh, necessary for people who want to protect their Bitcoin a little bit more. And if you guys want me to, I can make a, a kind of a, an introduction video about Bitcoin and how to keep your Bitcoin safe because I, I've had friends who've had big hacks you know, of people porting their cell phone numbers as their dual authentication and, you know, getting access to a few hundred thousand um, of their Bitcoins. Um, and, you know, if people were a little bit smarter and used like a Trezor hardware wallet, for example. Oh, no. So, oh, so this one's sold out and also shipping now, which is kind of interesting. But like a Trezor hardware wallet, for example, you know, to really just transfer these offline and really create like a 24 uh, uh, fr key phrase um uh, key that would be that makes it almost impossible if not impossible for people to actually hack um, your Bitcoins that when you do store them on a central repository such as coinbase or Gemini or you know bitrex or whatever is much more possible to actually um, hijack and steal your Bitcoin so you know this this website is doing an absolutely fantastic job of not only taking advantage of the hardware necessary for kind of the more tech tech geeks like myself out there who want to keep their Bitcoin you know as safe as possible but they're also capitalizing like I talked about before with apparel merchandise crypto art even I haven't even looked at this one yet actually I'm curious about this um, so crypto art you know they're selling these for ten thousand dollars which is absolutely crazy um, to me but obviously these are beautiful 
Um, the Winkle Boss Twins 2.0. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, yeah, so this is just another great example of, uh, you know, somebody who kind of capitalized on an upward trend and is making a ton of money from it, uh, I, I assume, pretty much right, right away. So the next one I want to talk about is electric vehicles. And so are we going to be selling Teslas on our Shopify store? No, we're not. But we could be selling, you know, the accessories for electronic vehicles. Um, you know, maybe the signs, maybe this could be a commercial buyer and they want to uh, get, you know, at their office building, put up a sign for electric parking or, you know, a vehicle stencil or the extension, the replacement extension cables or the carrying case. All these accessories, guys, are very difficult to find elsewhere. I can promise you these are not being sold at Safeway. Um, and they have an incredibly, you know, in this case, affluent target market. You know, they have a lot of money and they're very passionate about their cars if they're gonna spend, you know, close to $100,000 on a Tesla. And so those are just three examples that I wanted to talk about really quickly. Let's talk about actually how to see whether or not, um, like I said, you can target it on Facebook. So this is the first one, Drone Fly. So this is one of the larger, uh, drone companies so if we're talking in the united states and this is audience insights for those of you who don't know um, i do have a facebook advertising video that talks about this more in depth so we're not going to talk about it a bunch right now but it shows you basically whether or not you can actually detailed or narrowing uh, narrow target your actual facebook audience to really uh, further target your um, advertisements to reach people that are most likely to buy your product so we're going to target the united states and we're just going to put in drone here so we see drone music, the drones, drone metal. So let's put in drone. Oh, I see, okay, so here's, I just actually saw, this is Drone Fly. So this is literally the company that we were just talking about, which is as perfect as it gets. So we see that 97% of the people who are interested in Drone Fly are men. So obviously when we're creating our Facebook advertisements for drone accessories in this specific case, we would not target women because we see that 54% of all Facebook in general is women but only 3% of Facebook who express interest in the company Dronefly are women. So we'd obviously target all men. We'd probably target between 25 and 44 year olds as we see that's most of our market. Um, and we can see a bunch more info about, about people who like drones, which makes it so much easier. We can, we can target the multi-copter camera house, or excuse me, the, the multi-copter warehouse. We can target Polar Pro, Skyrocket, Empire Tactical, all these, yeah, DJI, one of the biggest uh, drone companies, all these different companies are, uh, you know, targeters that we can actually use in our detailed targeting section when we create our Facebook ads. Um, and if you don't know what I mean by that, check out my uh, Facebook advertising video and I promise you will understand it after that. So that is kind of how you check whether or not you can actually sell it on Facebook, which is super important. And guys, everyone always forgets to do this and it's so so important that you don't forget how to do this because um, it's going to save you so much time creating a store putting all this effort in before you actually know whether or not you can really target your actual perfect buyers the people who are actually going to convert at a low enough cost to give you a 50 percent 75 percent profit margin which is obviously what you know would be ideal so we're going to talk about aliexpress really quickly you know everybody else kind of talks about aliexpress so we're not going to talk about it a ton um, but you know the, the best way to use AliExpress is to not let yourself get overwhelmed, guys. We're not going to go through all of these different subcategories and every single one of these, right? There's hundreds. Like I could go to Jewelry and Watches and go through all like million of these, and all of these million have their own little um, subcategories as well. We're not going to do that. What we are going to do is go to best selling. And my cookies are kind of confused right now on AliExpress um, because I'm in Australia and headed to New Zealand tomorrow. But you can always just go to bestselling.aliexpress.com, um, and this is going to show you the best selling items um, for the week on AliExpress. So, you know, people always talk about going to all these different subcategories and looking through all these hundreds of different things like everyone else is. Um, I just like to look at the best selling products. Am I going to sell this exact product? Probably not, but I'm going to get the idea, uh, you know, ideas from this of what is actually selling. Um, and then I'm going to try to use, you know, my own creativity and my own kind of experiences and my own kind of searching for related products to sell something similar. And so what we can see here is 80,291 orders from AliExpress. Now, some of these people are, you know, customers ordering it for themselves, but for the most part, these are people, you know, drop shipping. These are people who are selling these on, um, on Facebook ads. I could, I could easily see like a, like a 995 free plus shipping or 695 and then you're paying 88 cents a bag and sending them out and you know pocketing the difference after your advertising costs and e-packet shipping so you know i would look through a lot of these we can see that there's categories you know maybe men or women 
Um, I would go a little bit farther than a lot of people. Most people probably only look kind of at this, these main ones and then they don't realize that they've proceeded to the next section. But what you can do is actually go to view more and now you're gonna look at all of the best sellers for the week in the men's category um, You know, with a lot of different uh, kind of specificity and more detail than you would otherwise have on the previous page. And so we see a lot of different like liquid cases for $1.99, that would be great. Um, again, perceived value, it, this kind of seems to me like it would be more expensive. It looks really cool. Um, obviously it looks nice on a Facebook video, especially if you're ordering samples for yourself and kind of showing it off and making a nice little uh, uh, HD video of it. Um, and so that's kind of how I would do um, AliExpress. Again, if you want a ton more info on how to do Shopify product research, um, more so than just you know finding a good niche, then check out the video in the description of my Shopify product research video. I hope you guys will like it. And so kind of the last two things I wanna talk about, we're gonna talk about Trend Hunter. It's a great website that I use all the time. And then we're gonna talk about how to actually add t-shirts to your store for any niche you choose. Um, and how that you know allows me to add multiple thousands of dollars of additional income I wouldn't otherwise have simply by adding a print on demand t-shirt section to all of my Shopify stores. It's very easy and it's obviously worth it if it's making you an extra you know ten thousand or more dollars per month every single month. So what Trend Hunter is um, is it's kind of a, an aggregator of information. Obviously, um, it shows a ton of different you know what's trending, all these different articles from across the uh, across the web. You know, you can talk about 100 gift ideas for sneakerheads, 38 innovations in smartwatch technology, and you know, just literally sitting here for one second, smartwatches is one that I didn't think about. Smartwatch bands, or you know, smartwatch cases, or smart smartwatch covers, or you know, smartwatch uh, charging docks, or you know, all different types of things that I never even would have thought about if I hadn't have just been randomly playing around with this website and so we can go to you know games here um, virtual reality is a great one that you could you know has tons of different things that you could potentially look into maybe skins for your oculus rift you know putting stickers on them to make them more personalized on the outside maybe googly eyes or something like that um, Harry Potter Hogwarts games nose controlled nose controlled mobile games <laughs> that's ridiculous um, intensive gamer router so this would be a great very highly niche um, you know, big spending category, um, illumination VR PCs, you know, making your computer uh, sexier, kind of creating that gaming station that's kind of become, you know, a, a, a sign of pride for in the gaming world. Um, I even do that myself. Uh, 60 gaming ideas for gamers. I, I definitely take a look at this. Um, smart, yeah, so uh, augmented reality smart uh, phone game controllers, which is fantastic. There's nothing that I would ever have thought about without looking at this. You know, I would look at all these gift ideas for gamers, um, gamer couch culture. Um, you know, I would look through Trend Hunter with you know the niches that I'm interested in, the niches that I think will be trending, the niches that I've proven will be trending, and have a lot of buzz and other people are making money on. Again, following the stupendous six, always following the stupendous six. Uh, you know, and you want to make sure that, uh, wow, these are actually really cool, but I bet these are also really expensive. Um, but just look, looking through these, 100 gift for college kids, you know, looking at neon lights of pizza, nostalgic gift ideas for sunglasses, all types of things that you wouldn't, or I at least wouldn't otherwise um, think about unless I was on this website. It's a fantastic aggregator of information, motion controlled musical instruments, streaming comic books, water manipulation, LED lamps. That's absolutely fantastic. Remember guys, when you are browsing through Facebook, next time you see an ad, remember what catches your attention. Remember what catches your eye. Remember what is actually making you click or even watch for a second longer than otherwise. And then start to think about applying those same things that made you look to your own Shopify stores. Um, Self-cleaning quartz bottles. Um, you know, I can look through this forever, but I, you know, I don't want to um, bore anyone. And so I would just, you know, recommend going on Trend Hunter, spending an hour, thirty minutes, ten minutes, whatever it is. If you follow the vlog, obviously no zero days, right? So do it for one minute. And if you only do it for one minute, that's okay. But at least do it for one minute. But I promise you, you're probably gonna get interested when you start to look through this stuff because it's incredibly interesting. Rollable paper torches, you know, all different types of things. And so we're not gonna keep keep going through that, but it's just something that I wanted to mention. So Redbubble is a cool one. Um, it's big It's big with YouTube influencers. You know, uh, YouTube influencers uh, sell a lot of merchandise. If you wanna see people, you know, who are selling a ton of merchandise, take a look at, you know, Logan Paul's store, for example, or uh, Niga Higa's, or some of the huge, um, you know, uh, YouTubers out there, they're making a ton of money. And so 
What I like to use Redbubble for is just looking at the top selling men's t-shirts or women's t-shirts. You know, this is one that I would 100% buy, will cut grass for rupees. You know, I could make this, you know, will cut grass for Bitcoin or something like that with Link or, or someone else, you know, and you can always add, and that's just literally off the top of my head, you can always add your own little, uh, you know, spins on things. This is amazing. Uh, this is for those who, who recognize this one, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, Mario selling, you know, a variety of different uh, items in here. Obviously mushrooms, um, but we won't talk about that. Uh, totally straight. Um, if you see the police, warn a brother. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, these are just great. So, you know, looking through these to kind of get ideas of how you can actually, um, you know, add a t-shirt store, just a supplemental complimentary additional income stream to your Shopify store um, of t-shirts. And so the last thing I want to talk about, another great way um, to find t-shirts that are selling like absolute crazy is using Amazon. And so this is, um, a, we, we're looking at the top brands here. And if you guys want me to make just like a, a total tutorial from start to finish on how to make an additional, you know, 10,000 or more dollars every single month with your Shopify store, just using print on demand, you know, there's no upfront inventory costs, guys. You literally just integrate an app that takes, you know, five minutes and then you, all you have to do is pay a designer $5 off Fiverr or Upwork to, you know, create designs for you and upload them to the app on Shopify. And all of a sudden you have a fully functioning, completely ready to go uh, store for t-shirts, for coffee mugs, for hoodies, for all this stuff. So if you guys want me to make a tutorial on how I make an extra $10,000 every single month for my Shopify stores, just using print on demand t-shirts, leave a comment, leave a like, obviously make sure you subscribe guys, because I hope, you know, you are enjoying this. I hope this is bringing value to you. And if it is, then click that subscribe button down below and make sure you hit the notification bell as well, because you know I am lonely. So what we're looking at here is uh, the top brands on Amazon. So, you know, we could look at any number of different things here. Let's use golf because we talked about it before. Um, and so, obviously, these are, are, are very funny already. Grab your balls. Um, I can't read what that says, but it says grab your balls something. Um, we're going golfing. Yeah, so they see me rolling, they hating with a, a, a golf tag or excuse me, a golf cart. These are absolutely fantastic. You know, all we'd have to do, guys, is have them recreated with our own designs. You know, it could even say pretty much the same thing as long as it's not trademarked. And really, you don't have to worry as much about trademarks and things like that on Shopify as you do on Amazon. That's not me telling you, you know, don't think about trademarks, don't think about copyrights or anything like that. But it's just not as, you know, a rigorous pro of a process as it is on Amazon where you do have to uh, worry a lot more just because of the visibility and things like that. So these are just some great examples. Um, we could look at all these different top brands here. Um, and I can talk about how to actually find this. It's actually kind of an annoying process to find the top brands on Amazon, but it has a ton of value um, that is just so valuable and not many people really know how to do it. Um, Neil deGrasse Tyson has his own <laughs> section. <laughs> you matter, you energy, y'all need science. Yeah, so some of these are fantastic. So um, I hope you enjoyed that one, guys. Remember, like, let's just have a little summary really quick. When you're finding a niche, you need a passionate audience. You need people who care. You need people who are going to click a Facebook ad, go to your Shopify site, and buy the product. You need, you need other people that are making money. You need it to be a proven niche. You want it to be an evergreen, something that appeals to all human beings, right? And so there's always going to be a demand for it. It's not going to be seasonal. It's not going to be something that's trending. It's not going to be something that goes out of fashion. Um, can you target it on Facebook? We talked about exactly how to figure that out. You want perceived value, whether it's jewelry, whether it's you know uh, drone accessories, whether it's electronic car. Uh, accessories, whether it's 3D printing or, you know, maybe it's a, 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 an iWatch uh, charging dock or any type of things that you find off Trend Hunter or creating LED displays for your uh, gaming setup, um, right? So you want the perceived value. You want it to be difficult to find elsewhere and you want it to be upward trending, guys. So let me know if you want me to make that print on demand uh, t-shirt video. And I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. And I will see you on the next one. We are going to be in Queenstown, New Zealand. So I can't wait to talk to you guys all again and make sure you subscribe if you haven't and just because we will see you next time.